They are the last thing you want to encounter crawling in your bed as you sleep. Usually during your REM sleep is when they're active. But the reality is bed bugs are a problem in New Hampshire. And we are showing almost 300% increase in bed bug acti activity. Rachel Massini of the UNH Cooperative Extension is on the front lines. My specialty right now is bed bugs. Um, so I'm doing a lot of teaching on bed bugs and um, bed, bed bug prevention and management. Rachel is an urban entomologist. It's like, oh, what do you do for work? I'm an entomologist. They look at you kind of weird, like, what is that? Entomology is the study of insects, something Rachel has loved since she was a kid. Now her office is surrounded by them. It's a stag, S-T-A-G, beetle. So this is actually the tomato hornworm adult. These are actually bark lice. It's Rachel's job to document and identify and insects and educate people on how to manage things like bed bugs. So I teach primarily master gardeners as well as the general public on pests and not just pests, but all insects. As part of her job, she is also a regular on WMUR Grow It Green segments with Ray Brewer. Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Studley's Flower Gardens in Rochester, and I'm joined by Rachel Massini from UNH Cooperative Extension. The and TV and bug part of her life is pretty well known for this mother and grandmother. And in but in 2017, she dove into something you may not expect. competing in a bikini competition, which is really outside of my, my comfort zone. That's right, when Rachel isn't the bug lady, she's bodybuilding. months preparing for a bikini competition. Rachel is no stranger to working out. She's done a Tough Mudder and a triathlon. Staff at the American Fitness in Nashua noticed working out was her thing. Nice. <laughs> She'd be here at 5 o'clock in the morning, go to work, go to work, go to a second job, come back and train again. I mean, it, it's incredible. They make it look hard, right? <laughs> The owner of the gym came to me and says, you ever think of bodybuilding? And at the time, I'm like, no, are you kidding me? For those of you who have never seen a women's bodybuilding show, there are different levels, starting at bikini, which stresses more traditional female body type, all the way to the more muscular bodybuilding. Rachel is going for bikinis, so they're usually between 10 and 15 percent body fat. Deanna Hamilton of Effective Fitness has been prepping Rachel for her first show. Have you ever met anybody who wants to do bodybuilding and work with bugs at the same time? I have not. It's a very strange combination. <laughs> it's a lot of work. You have to be dedicated. I, I literally work out six days a week, and when I miss a day, I'm feeling really guilty. I have to stick to a very specific diet, which is hard for me because I have a sweet tooth, so there are things that I can't have that I really want. Would you ever eat crickets for protein? Most definitely. As a matter of fact, I have ant wafers on my desk right now. I've never seen someone so dedicated to do something. She just goes for it and she does it, which is awesome. After about four months of hard training in the gym and eating the diet of a Hawthorne leaf hopper, it was showtime for the Boston Battle of the Naturals. I had a little trouble last night sleeping, but now I'm pumped today. It's gonna be a tough day, a long day, but it's worth it. This wasn't Grow It Green. These weren't insect samples. It was hundreds of eyes watching. It was judges looking for symmetry and poise. For an introvert, it was nerve-wracking. I was really nervous. Like, um, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I was looking at my counterparts, thinking, I'm too old for this, what am I doing? But it's good now. 
looks really good now. The entomologist placed fourth in the 40 plus Masters event in her very first show. Question is, did she get bitten by the bodybuilding bug? If anyone would know, it would be Rachel. I'm here for me, not whether I win or lose. It's, I've made it this far, so I'm happy with where I've come. So I'm good.